All right, guys, we've got a comparison video today, and I have done full videos on the uh, Vosteed Nightshade in both the thumb opening hole as well as the thumb stud. And these are both basically identical with just different openings and different G10 colors. Pocket clips are the same, blade steel is the same, all of that good stuff. They also made a mini, which is a completely different animal. And I'm not sure why they did that. So we're going to talk about that a little bit today. And this is really kind of off of the cuff. I'm just kind of talking about my thoughts and impressions on these. So I didn't even get all the dimensions and everything off of the mini because, you know, you go to the website and you can check that stuff out really at the end of the day. Um, but it's, it's considerably different. Um, and I don't know that I like it being that different. So first thing you're going to notice is this is a bar lock rather than a liner lock. It has a reversible pocket clip, which is totally different style pocket clip. And they changed the uh, blade steel to 14C, um, whatever it is, 14C28N, right? Rather than Nitro V on the big dog. Okay. Um, and the black G10 is a little bit different pattern, different cutout of it than the black one. It's very similar to the gray one as far as smoothness and, you know, whatnot. Even the lanyard hole is different. Construction's different. Like, why? Why didn't you keep it the same, Vosteed? I don't understand. I think it definitely needs to have the thumb hole or the thumb studs because it's so small. The thumb hole wouldn't work so well on this one. So let's give you a close-up look. I do love this blade shape. I love the stone wash, the finish, all that is great. I don't know how I feel about the bar lock. And I like the cleanness of the bigger guy much better on the scales. I don't know why we needed a reversible pocket clip. I don't know why we needed to change the lanyard hole. I just, I don't get it. You got barrel spacers. In versus a backspacer now. I, different blade steel for sure. 14C is a more budget friendly type of blade steel. But the funny thing is that I found interesting was this is not much cheaper. It's not much more budgety. It's $59 for the small guy and $69 for the big dogs. For 10 bucks. Do I need such a small knife for a $10 difference? The bar lock works great. I have Benchmade bug outs that don't work this great. I don't own a Benchmade bug out, but my Griptilian that I've owned for, I don't know, eight years isn't even this smooth. Benchmades that I have reviewed on the channel are not this smooth out of the box. And this is straight out of the box. I mean, it might've gotten a little bit better over the couple of weeks that I've had it here from Professor EDC. But not much because I haven't really spent time with it. Fiddling and fidgeting with it to break it in. Because it's a reversible pocket clip, the pocket clip sits proud of the scales, which I think is a miss. They had it dialed in on the bigger ones where it was recessed into the scales here. That's the way to do a pocket clip. Now, if you're going to have it reversible, I agree. Having an indentation here does kind of detract. Like on the Red Horse Knife Works Hellraiser Automatic, it is reversible and it is recessed in, and I don't like that. So I'm glad that because it's reversible, they just put screws or screw holes. I appreciate that rather than a cutout, but... And I'm not trying to be discriminatory against my left-handed buddies because I have a few of them, Joseph and Alex, to name two. Um, 
I have my sister to, to name three. So just off the top of my head, I'm not trying to discriminate against you guys, but do I need a reversible pocket clip? Most of my left-handed friends have figured out how to carry a knife in their pocket and work it just fine. But I get it. I get it. And it's too much work to make a left-handed version and a right-handed model knife. I, I understand that too. So, yeah. I don't know. What do you guys think? Um, I didn't do sizes, but here it is next to the Sharpie and the Spyterco Delica. The AA and D-cell batteries. I don't think I pulled the batteries out for a while, actually. So, eh, good point there. Um, I love this model knife. I don't really love the small one. It's a little too small for me. But you guys into small knives, this might be the ticket. And for 59 bucks, you're getting a really good package here. I really like this knife in general. I'm still torn on thumb hole versus thumb stud. I have not made a real answer yet. But this one I really like. I just like the color combination on this one quite a bit. So, I don't know. Let me know down below your thoughts on a, sm a smaller shrunken down version, but yet it changed. I think they should have just shrunk down this one left as a liner lock and made it nice and compact because it's not that much thinner. I mean, it is, it is thinner and that's what, you know, they took out of by getting rid of the liners and doing the bar lock. Um, it is thinner, but mm, I don't know on this one. It could have been a little more chunky. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts guys. I would love to hear.